So today we're going to be talking about uh, PFSense and PFBlockerNG and specifically around um, cookies and tracking. So PFBlockerNG is a utility to block malicious domains but it also blocks um, cookie tracking, so website tracking uh, and also um, some of your online shopping experiences. So I'm going to be talking about a specific scenario today, which is um, using the Nectar card. So collecting Nectar points when you're shopping online using the Nectar e-stores. Um, we're going to talk about the PF Blocker NG whitelist and how you can actually check to see whether um, cookie domains or tracking domains or um, points accumulating domains um, are blocked and how to go about whitelisting them. So let's make a start. So the first thing that we want to do is we're going to open up the Nectar uh, website and we, we've logged in. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through and we're going to find um, something to test against um, and see whether um, it's actually being blocked. So the, before we do that, we want to go to PFSense and we want to go into our PF Blocker NG setup because what we're going to do, this area here, we want to make sure that the malicious domain count is set to zero um, because um, that way we'll easily be able to see if something's being blocked and therefore we can go in and whitelist it. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to clear our packets then we're going to say we're going to clear all of them, so that should zero everything across here. The next thing we're going to go into PF Blocker NG. Um, you don't necessarily need to do this, but I always do this because um, it means that the log files are clear. So if I go into uh, DNSBL log, then you can see here we've got loads of stuff that's uh, being blocked. So I'm going to empty the log file, and that's all there is to it. Then we're going to go back to our home screen and we're going to check that we're still on zero. And then I'm going to go into the um, Nectar website and I'm going to find something to go and search for. So let's let's pick an e-store. I don't know. Let's go to asos.com and see if we can get through to that. And then if we do get through to it, we want to make sure that nothing's being blocked. So we're going to click on that. We're going to click on how to get this offer and then we're going to shop online. OK, so what this does, this then logs your um, visit via the affiliate website and in this instance it's awin1.com. Now as you can see here um, we haven't got through to the ASOS website so it looks like that actually this e-store is being blocked. So let's go back to PFSense and let's check on our malicious uh, list, our DNSBL list. And as you can see here we are, we've got a count of two so if we just click on that number two that will take us to um, our block page and we can see here it's appmeasurement.com so to whitelist this what I'm going to do I'm going to click on the plus sign I'm going to say OK and we're going to just add a specific whitelist so we're not going to add a wildcard whitelist we're going to whitelist it and then you can either say yes to add a description or no we're going to say no because I can't be bothered with that um, and then that is going to whitelist it then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back again to the PFSense home screen and again I'm going to clear the packets like that. So that zeroed it again. Next I'm going to come back to this website, I'm going to close it down and I'm going to refresh my page here. I'm going to go shop online to see if we get any further. Okay, so we're at the same position where it's being blocked. So we go back to our PFSense and we have a look here. DNSBL um, we've got a count of one so we're going to check that and as you can see here is awin1.com so again um, to make sure that we can get through and get our click um, tracked and therefore be able to receive the points when you shop online at the, your chosen e-store we're going to whitelist it again I'm going to say no to add a description and that will then whitelist this Again, what we do, we then go back to our PFSense dashboard, we clear our, uh, our count. Once that's zeroed, go back, close this window. Again, I'm going to refresh the page, how to get this offer, shop online, see if we get any further. Okay, so this time we've been blocked again, 
So now we're going to go back here. Okay, so that's not being blocked at the moment there. So let's have a look at the um, IPv4 track list. Okay, and this is standard stuff. So it looks like what I need to do is close that down, close that down, close that down, refresh this page, clear the count. Go back to Nectar, make sure it's still zeroed. I'm going to go back to our PF blocker NG logs. I'm going to go back in here and clear it again. Okay, awin1.com. Right, so I'm going to clear that log, only this time I'm going to go back to our PF blocker NG and I'm going to go to our whitelist. So we're going to scroll to go to DNSBL scroll down to our whitelist and then go down to the bottom which will be the latest uh, ones that I've added. I'm just going to remove the www dot ones of those like so. I'm going to save that. Go back to our screen again. Make sure we're still on zero which we are. I'm going to go back I'm going to click on our ASOS website again. This time I'm going to go back and check it's still zero. I'm also going to just zero it again. And then I'm going to shop online to see if we get any further this time. There we go. So we have got through this time. I'm going to accept that. And you can see here that the affiliate ID has all been logged so that means that when you shop online you will be awarded the points so let's go back here and check to see what the ASOS website has uh, decided that it's going to block okay so this is unusual look we've got uh, TikTok analytics nrdata.net and decibelinsight.net so because I'm actually on their website and they've logged the tracking ID, I don't need to block any of those. But what, what you want to do, you want to make sure that when you click on whatever shop that you want to go off and purchase through, um, you capture the part where you click on the shop online button here all the way through until you get to the website. As long as you can see your affiliate details in the URL of when you first get to the web page, it means that they've logged that track and therefore you're going to be awarded the points. So that's all there is to it, and all you have to do basically is whenever you go to a Nectar e store um, or shopping experience where you're collecting points through whatever mechanism you're using, then always make sure that um, you come back and check PF Sense always make sure that you come back in here and um, look at the log files as you can see here these are the two or these are the three that are blocked um, on PFSense from um, actually the ASOS website but um, this is just analytics and insights so um, because you've actually log the affiliate ID in there you should be awarded your points so I'm going to leave that in there I'm going to go back to our PF blocker NG and again I'm just going to have a look at the whitelist so what I did in the whitelist options was when you whitelist a domain it will always add the domain that um, the tracking cookie is on or the domain that you have whitelisted but it will also add a www in front so what I do is because that is not part of the domain and um, pfsense just adds that I go back in here and remove the www dot because I know that none of these domains actually use that um, in front of it so I just go through and tidy up so um, that's all there is to it. Uh, if you found that video useful, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Uh, we'll be bringing you more PFSense blocker um, uh, 
PF blocker NG videos and PF sense videos in the future once we come across things. But uh, wanted to share with you guys and hope you found it useful. Thanks for watching.